clients wanted to talk to you about pulling their money. I mean, it, it, it's now and never, Mark. We gotta sell. Mark. Mark, can you hear me? Mailbox one. You have 15 messages. Mike, I can't seem to get a hold of you. Will you please call me at the early communion? It's Jeff. I, you're buying stocks? The market's at an all-time low. This is crazy. I met my wife on Match.com. My profile said, I am a medical student with only one eye, an awkward social manner, and $145,000 in student loans. She wrote back, you're just what I've been looking for. She meant honest. So let me be honest. The housing crisis represents the greatest financial opportunity. Of Making money is not like I thought it would be. This business kills the part of life that is essential, the part that has nothing to do with business. And I know you're eager to get started. So let's. For the past two years, my insides have felt like they're eating themselves. All the people I respected won't talk to me anymore, except through lawyers. People want an authority to tell them how to value things, but they choose this authority not based on facts or results. They choose it because it seems authoritative and familiar, and I'm not and never have been familiar. So, so I've come to the sullen realization that I must close down the fund. Sincerely, Michael J. Burry, MD. This isn't how I pictured it. What'd you think we'd find? I don't know. Grown-ups. Mark, you there? Mark. Also, and Bernanke just left the White House. There's going to be a bailout. They knew. Cash would stop coming out of ATMs. They had to backstop this. They knew the taxpayers would bail them out. They weren't being stupid. They just didn't care. Yeah, because they're crooks. But at least we're going to see some of them go to jail. Right? I mean, they're going to have to break up the banks. I mean, the party's over. I don't know. I don't know. I have a feeling that in a few years, people are going to be doing what they always do when the economy tanks. They would be blaming immigrants and poor people. But Mark was wrong. In the years that followed, hundreds of bankers and rating agencies executives went to jail. The SEC was completely overhauled, and Congress had no choice but to break up the big banks and regulate the mortgage and derivatives industries. Just kidding. Banks took the money the American people gave them and they used it to pay themselves huge bonuses and lobby the Congress to kill big reform. And then they blamed immigrants and poor people. And this time, even teachers. And when all was said and done, only one single banker went to jail. This poor schmuck, Kareem Sarah Geldon from Credit Suisse. He 
you hit a few billion in mortgage bond losses, something most of the big banks did on a good day during the crisis. Mark, can we sell now? I mean, the fund will make almost a billion dollars. You'll clear 200 mil, Mark. You know, once we sell, we'll be just like the rest of them. You know that. No, we're not. We're not the bad guys here. We didn't defraud the American people and prey on their dreams of owning a home. All right, they did. Now we get to kick them in the teeth. Billion dollars. That's right. But we got to close out our position or it could be zero. I mean, it, 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 it's now or never, Mark. Okay. Sell it all. Keeps on waiting.